Hey guys, it's Franco. It's 2021. And what a year. What a start of the year. I reached my goal of 100K or $100,000 in my portfolio. And I reached my goal before my birthday. And I have a video of that saying that on my previous videos, maybe right here. And I got it two months before my birthday. My birthday is in March. So, I got that. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. What I'm going to talk about today are dividends. What, how much dividends did I earn on the year 2020? So, if you want to know how much dividends that I have, stay tuned. So, dividend stocks or my portfolio. So, my portfolio, my capital is like about 50 grand. And then the gains is another 50. That's why it's like about 100 grand right now. But I did not start right there. January of 2020, I only have like about 25 to 30 grand. And obviously, when the market crash, I poured all my money, like almost all my money, into the stock market and bought a lot of stuff, especially Tesla. And I hold on it, held on those things, even if it dip. And <laughs> that's why I got a hundred grand right now. But that's not the issue about our, the video that I want to talk about. I want to talk about is how much dividends did I earn in 2020. The number is $711 for the whole year. Now, it's not much. Like I said, most of my gains are coming from growth stock like uh, Tesla and Neil. Pick the right stocks at this time. <laughs> but my plan this year is to diversify my portfolio and buy more stable companies that's been here been there for 15 to 20 years or more like 3m or cat uh, or even uh hanuel that, those are my my target companies at this at this year now what are dividends franco some of you may not know it. Some companies, every quarter, they give out part of their earnings to their investors. My accent. Anyway, to their investors. And the reason to do that is sometimes you want to attract new investors in and let them stay in, invested in the company. That's why they do that. And investors like that, like myself, like that too because i want to have like at least monthly income whether it's like two dollars a month five dollars a month ten dollars a month i don't care but i just want something going into my pocket every month while my my money is in the market like apple they give out dividends too every quarter though the reits they give out about monthly. So what are the difference between a dividend stock and a growth stock? You might ask. Now a dividend stock, like I said, they give a dividends per quarter or per month. Some, most, most of the companies that I, that I bought like Apple, 3M, Starbucks, CVS, and an index fund like VOO, Maine, Stag, and Nike. They're really stable companies. And they give out dividends. Not all dividend 
giving stock are good though. So beware. Now, what's a growth stock? A growth stock, they don't give out dividends, but they have a tendency or or they may or may not outperform the S&P S &P 500 or the stock market itself. Like Tesla, it really outperformed the market last 2020. But it also it's also very risky. Like the emerging market nowadays, like the the helium one or hydrogen companies that they don't have any products yet, but their stock prices are really high up. Uh, they they have the tendency to to outperform the market in the near future, but we will never know. Or their stock value will go to zero and will cause the investor to lose its capital so be really aware of what you're buying every time you choose the companies now about my portfolio i'm going to talk about my portfolio my portfolio breakdown is 89 percent it's domestic stock 10 percent is only the foreign stock and one percent bond this according to fidelity is considered very very aggressive and i can handle that i'm very young and i i i highly suggest to those who are good with their finances to to get a aggressive portfolio while they're younger and then when you uh reach like about 50s you slowly go to bonds and more stable companies or REITs that's my plan for the after 30 years <laughs> now like I said I earned $711 for the whole year and I have a total of 67 stocks 52 of those are dividend giving stocks like 77 percent of my full portfolio is dividend giving and uh, that's that's how it is um, I hope you to learn from this at least a little bit I'm not I'm not bragging and I want you to I want you to be financially free in the near future or at least at least know how to find a, to manage your money and by the time I don't want to see you if, if you're watching that I don't want to see you at 70 years old you're still working like like a horse it's okay to work when you're 70 when you're old but you have to enjoy at least your golden age that, that's my point of view and that's what I want for myself and have a nice day guys I mean uh, this is all I have if if you really like this video click subscribe like whatever um, comment I will m much like the comment because I can respond interact with you guys uh, like I said happy new year and signing out